Hello, welcome to Silvercare Sensory Sessions. Today we're making some textured autumn leaves. This one was quite a fun one, just in keeping with the changing of the seasons. Um, it can be easily customisable to whatever textures the person that you're working with or that you enjoy. The textures I've primarily picked are quite soft and fluffy textures, because that's just something that I would have preference for. But you can do whatever you like and however many you like. So to make these ones, you're going to need some card, some scissors and a pen, a hot glue gun, make sure that you are careful whilst using it, and a range of different textures. So I didn't end up using all of these but I've got pom poms, I've got um, textured scrubbers, I've got glittery paper, I've got tissue paper, I've got tinsel, there's just a lot of things that you can use. The first thing I did is took my A4 piece of card and I folded it in half. Once I folded it in half I drew on a leaf shape that I was happy with and that I thought looked like an autumn leaf. I then went away and cut these out. So this is going to be what I'm going to base my autumn leaves on. I then repeated this process a handful more times so I had lots of leaves to choose from. So to put the textures on I am going to use the underside half of the piece of card. So I'm going to fold the side with the leaf shape behind and just work on this one. For my first one I was going to use lollipop sticks because they're quite smooth but also I like the colours of these ones. So then I'm going to arrange them on the sheet of card and then I'm going to hot glue them on to the card. Remember to be careful whilst you're using the hot glue gun and if you don't feel confident doing it, ask someone to support you with that. Once you've glued down your texture to the underside of your card, you can pull the leaf back round and then work on sticking that down. So I recommend sticking that down again with the hot glue gun, being careful as you do so, just to make sure that it's nice and secure and then you have your first textured leaf. I repeated the same process again with pipe cleaners and that was quite nice and soft, and very colourful and then again with this microfiber cloth and it was very smooth but fluffy and then with this noodle glove which I cut up and I really enjoyed that one. Finally I repeated this process with um, the fabric used around a scouring scrub for me personally, I didn't really enjoy this texture once I had finished, but it was definitely good to experiment and find out which textures work best for me. Please always ask for support whilst using the scissors and the hot glue gun if you don't feel confident doing so. So once you've finished picking the textures and making as many leaves as you or the person you're working with enjoys it, you're finished and you can enjoy your autumn leaves and use them for activities. Thank you very much for watching today, I hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll see you again soon.